everyone and thank you so much for clicking on my video. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. And today I'm going to be watching the most recent episodes of Youth of May, the currently airing Monday, Tuesday Korean drama that I am watching on Viki, the streaming service. We'll be watching episodes 7 and 8 and as I'm recording this, episode 8 only has 96% English subtitles, but I think that's plenty of subtitles for me to understand the drama. I have been trying to avoid the other reaction videos out there on these recent episodes just because I wasn't able to get to them this week, so I'm excited to be watching them today on Saturday when I do record my reaction videos. I didn't mean to hold off and watch them. This Saturday, I usually am like watching them the minute that they're up and translated on Vicky, but this week was just kind of hectic and you know how it goes. So here I am, I get to react to it for you guys, which I'm excited about. If you're also watching Youth of May, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here and enjoy Korean reaction videos, I post new ones every Sunday. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to be notified when new videos are up. And with that, let's get into episode 7 and 8 of Youth of May, shall we? The so last episode we had a pretty epic kiss. Oh yeah, and then she got kidnapped. <laughs> Which I think, was this the secret police that uh, captured her? I think so. Oh no, he's gonna show up at her home thinking she might have gone there. That's gonna be interesting. <laughs> he's like now questioning his own sanity. Yeah, it is a little creepy, buddy. I mean, he's just following his instincts and is worried about her. But that is, I was kind of like, wow, he's just immediately gonna go to their place. He's like, I gotta make a good impression. <laughs> he doesn't want to be creepy. <laughs> oh, hey, that grandma looks familiar. <laughs> He's like gonna ask for the address and it's their place. It's like, that's our place. <laughs> He's like already interrogating him. I love it. Oh, she's excited. <laughs> She's so pumped. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh wow, she looks dazed. I wonder what happened. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of stalkerish, buddy, but that's okay. My guess is his dad got to her. Yeah, she's connecting the dots now. <laughs> she's like, oh man, dad's the secret police or works for the government. I think he is the secret police, right? Or secret government, whatever. Oh, is he gonna try and get her to like, oh man, he's got photos of her little brother. It's like, he's showing her that he's been watching her <laughs> and knows the people that she's connected to. I bet he got her visa revoked. Yeah. Defense Security Command, okay. Oh, he's she's telling him everything. Oh, look at him trying to make her feel better. Oh, he's trying to stay positive for her. That's so sweet. He's going to find a way somehow. Good for him. He loves her. Oh, her hopes and dreams are just being smashed. <laughs> oh, good tear, bro. Wow. Oh, so even with this, she can't leave the country? Daughter Kim Young Hee, convicted of violating the National Security Act in 1954. Oh, so I guess her dad's past was gonna be keeping her from leaving the country either way? Oh, wow. So I guess her father was part of the Communist Party. Unless it's forged, it could be forged. I'm sure he feels really bad too, hun. Oh, okay, we're seeing what happened. This is probably how he got his leg all messed up. They probably like broke it really bad while interrogating him. Yep, seems to be the case. So he was brought in in the past because of his brother and his father apparently had defected to North Korea. So he really was innocent and told this guy everything. I think he was undercover. <laughs> it seems he was kind of tricked into 
confessing things that, you know, it's like he's just related to them. Bring it up, Mama. Oh, boy. Yeah, Mama. She can't study abroad because of it. Surprise. <laughs> this uh, <laughs> guy that she lives with is <laughs> just like, why is everyone freaking out about her missing? <laughs> Oh, she's connecting the dots, too, about what could be going on. Oh, wow, Big Brother's working on trying get getting her passport put together. Oh, he thinks it's his fault. <laughs> she's going to tell him that she actually knew about them. All right, she's finally at least confessing to the brother that she's known the whole time that they've been seeing each other, so that's good. Yeah, I'd be scared of him, too. He's a scary dude. She needs to learn that her actions have consequences. Just tell him the truth, girl. Why are you making him think that? I guess it's a drama, so you just can't be truthful all the time. Okay, <laughs> she's finally like, go ask your dad. Well, that's not, okay, that is true, but that's not entirely true. The fact that she's now telling him that he's the reason she can't study abroad. She was also shown that it's because of her father. He's devastated. Look at this boy. Oh, don't be sad. You'll end up together, I'm sure. He's like trying to convince his father that he was just seeing her for fun. Oh, that's how he's trying to convince his dad to let her leave the country. He's like, now she's going to be all clingy. He's like developing a whole story that he was just dating her for fun because he thought that, oh, he doesn't believe him. Oh, this dad is so evil. Oh, he's even like, I'll get married right now. Just let her leave the country. Gosh, he loves her so much. All right, so a deal's been struck. Daddy owes like go to Seoul and stay there until I tell you to come back. And if you behave, we'll talk about sending your girlfriend to Germany. Oh, he wants to send them both to Seoul? So he's pretty much telling him to let his daughter and his son move to Seoul and live together before they're married. Yeah, you're threatening him, bro. That's what you're doing. Don't even pretend. Okay, I think they're going to... Come clean to dad about everything that's going on. Oh, daddy -o is pissed. Rightfully so. Oh, he's like, it's unfortunate about Myung Hee, but you know, family first. Her brother wants to set things right so badly. He loves Myung Hee so much and just wants her to go to Germany. Come on, dad, do the right thing. <gasps> to be frank, she's not even family. That's hurtful. You know, shouldn't be surprised by this outcome. Oh, he's like, I can't obey you, Dad. I'm going to do what's right and tell him. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Dad's down for the count. So he's got angina. He's not careful and doesn't rest and reduces his stress. He could be in real trouble. Oh, and she didn't know about it. So she's going to agree to it in hopes that maybe it helps Myung Hee, I think. Good, she's gonna take responsibility for what she's done, finally. Yeah, this girl's been doing things and not facing the consequences, it's time. The nurse friend is telling her how he had visited the hospital looking for her. Oh, she made him a gift. Oh, cause it's teacher's day, but also he's moving away. <laughs> he's like, I have presents for you, more books for you to read. <laughs> She's like, this is not the type of present I wanted. I feel like that's just a metaphor for their relationship. <laughs> that broken earring. He's like, I tried to be careful with it, but I broke it. He wants her to turn around and say goodbye. Or that she can't live without him. Oh, those tears. Buddy, don't cry. No! She's not going to turn around because she's strong. Ah! Oh, she's like trying to protect him. She's like, I'll break up with him. It's very much a kind of Romeo and Juliet feel type of drama. I mean, it's a melodrama, so lots of crying in melodramas. <laughs> I still just find it very strange that they're just sending their unmarried children to Seoul together to live together. I don't know if that's a common practice. 
Oh, the dad's feeling so sad for his daughter. He doesn't want her to move to Seoul with this philandering fiance. <laughs> She's devastated. <laughs> She's such a teenager. She's so full of angst. Oh man, I needed that comic relief after that. Well, I mean, now that she's in Seoul, uh, she can definitely join this movement because that's where it's all happening. Yeah, she's wanting to stay there. She's like stuck to the spot. But, you know, they are supposed to stay out of trouble, but I don't see her staying out of trouble for too long. Did he just like leave her behind? <laughs> Did he not even wait for her? There he is. <laughs> You can tell she's like trying to ignore her feelings by just cleaning and doing things. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you! Don't be ashamed of that body. Arr. Of course, why was he taking his shirt off in the kitchen? So, I now have questions about the girl that's in the hospital. I don't think she's been moved to her town's hospital yet, so she's still in Seoul, so I think that's where he's going right now. Oh, look who's calling. Bro, why are you asking these questions if you're like trying to, you know, sneak a phone call? She's like, I'm not sure my relationship with him. He's like, ah, I gotta go. It's good that he's found a friend in the army to like be his lookout. He's like, with my sister? He's like, no, with his fiance. Oh, he's like, what about my sister? They're so young and cute. I love these two kid actors. You know, I know that he's grumpy and, you know, they're both kind of there against their will. She's at least trying to be civil and he's being kind of a jerk. I feel bad for her in that sense. Is she gonna tell him about the phone call? She's just cleaning herself into exhaustion. There's nothing to do. Oh no, what's she gonna do now? Look who's there. I think that's the guy that they were trying to have be like, what, the vice president of the company or something like that? Oh, management. I can't remember the title. Oh, since the dad's out of commission, he's like trying to get that guy in there. Cause it's like, you need the help, bro. She's like, I need something to do. I'll go visit my little brother. Bring him some food. <laughs> oh, look at him sitting in the corner. Oh, what a good little brother. So cute. Oh, he wanted them to get married. That's so cute. Oh, he doesn't want her to go study abroad. So he's like, I wanted you to get married. <laughs> no, don't give up on your dreams, girl. Oh, he's so happy about it. <laughs> he's running himself ragged trying to run the company without his dad and helping her with her passport and visa. Yay! Ulta came through! He's like, I'll support you. Oh. He's like trying to make up for what happened. He feels really guilty. He's not happy with it. Oh. Oh. I really love his character. <laughs> He's a really good crier. It's that one tear sliding down his eye. It's getting me. Oh, everybody is so sad. <laughs> Girl, don't get involved in this. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna make things worse. Careful. What are you doing? Look both ways, girl. Oh, wow. He's taking her to the hospital. Suk chill. Okay. Oh no, the students are in it. Alright, Daddy O's been called the soul. He's like, what? <laughs> Aw, she's apologizing to her because she found out about her dad and stuff. He's like, it wasn't your fault, actually. It was my dad's fault. This feels like a bad thing because his dad's on the way to Seoul. Dad's probably gonna show up and he's not gonna be there. It's gonna be a whole situation. Or is he gonna stay in Seoul? Yeah, he's not going. He might change his mind though. She's got a hole in her shoe. What's she gonna do? 
Oh, I'm guessing the patient's gonna arrive. She's gonna be in charge of them. She's gonna see his signature though, and his name, right? That's a lie, girl. That is a lie. That's a good way of looking at it. That's good. Everything's just so hard for her right now. Oh, poor thing. Don't deny him, girl. Yay! She's going to run into his arms. Yay! Oh, This is so sweet, except that I know his father is going into Seoul and is probably going to try and check in on him. He's not going to be there! Oh, she's running away too. <laughs> Ooh, he's in her room in the dark. Well, not in the dark, but oh, he's like, how do I sit? Should I be cool? Okay, let's let's look relaxed. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little moment. He's going to try and fix her radio now. <laughs> Are they going to spend the night together? Is that what's going on here? Ooh, oh. Man, these two have the best chemistry. Oh man, and he's trying to call his friend again. <laughs> Nobody's there now, they've escaped. <laughs> of course this isn't translated, so I have no idea what's being said right now. The entire country was judged to be an emergency state. Oh dear, the place is in shambles. They were raided. I do wish they had translated that part. I'm I'm very curious. I don't know what's going on. Okay, they're going into Guangzhou. Okay, so I think that they called the military in to stop the strikes from happening. Ooh, ominous. Well, those were episodes seven and eight of Youth of May. This was heart-wrenching. This was some very sad two episodes. And it seems we have some uh, pretty crazy stuff about to happen in episodes 9 and 10. I'll definitely be trying to find out what's going to happen next then. I gotta say, the actors in this drama definitely have me drawn in. Both the male actors, the one playing the brother as well as the lead love interest, both of them are really good at crying. And just the emotion behind what they're feeling, you can definitely feel it yourself and see it. I think the only character that I'm not all that invested with and I'm kind of annoyed with would be Gum Seirog. You know, she's finally owning up to what she did, but not really like, oh, she's sacrificing herself to move to Seoul <laughs> with her fiance to like, you know, keep her friend out of trouble, but it's like, there's other circumstances that are keeping her from being able to study abroad. It's not just what happened to her. And we see that confession happen. So then that sort of negates like, why is she needing to go to Seoul then? And then when they get there, she just immediately is like, let's call it quits and go our own ways. And she's like running away from home. I guess she has her own journey. She's the only one that I'm just like, you're kind of causing all this drama and it's not necessary and her character and her storyline and her involvement, she's just kind of annoying to me. I like the actress, it's just the character and how she's been interweaved in everything I'm just kind of like meh about. I will say Omen Sook is playing a fantastic villain. I just see him getting scarier and scarier and more evil as the show goes on. He just has no remorse, has no real love for his son and it's very sad to watch. Those moments between them, I think that they do a really good job. Definitely terrified of him, and I'm definitely terrified to see what's gonna happen to the students since the army has now been called to, I think, disperse the protesters. And I don't know if this is historically accurate. I'm gonna have to do some Googling to see if like there's you know history about this day and the involvement of the military and everything else but i've been really enjoying this show just because of the time period and everything else i feel like i haven't watched a korean drama from the 80s if i have 
it's been kind of short-lived or like part of a bigger picture type thing like there are flashbacks to those times but they don't really get into it how they've been getting into it in this show so i've been enjoying that for like the history portion of it you know learning something new that's always what i strive to do lee do yon oh boy a lot of you guys have been telling me to watch 18 again and after watching this drama i think i am gonna have to go and watch 18 again after i finish this series so it's definitely on my reaction list and it's definitely a melodrama lots of crying we have our couples being separated and then having their moments of happiness that you know are, is not gonna last <laughs> but I am here for it, and oh man, uh, Park se Young, who's playing the student who's being taught by Lee Do Young's character, and her whole just emotional breakdown when he has to leave. I should not have been laughing at that, but she she's perfect for that role. I really enjoyed that moment, especially because right before that we had such a sad, sad moment. Um, I think her little bit of comic relief was really good there. And all the characters I'm invested with, um, I think I might be developing a little bit of second lead syndrome. Lee sang -hee in this has been fantastic, especially in these last two episodes. You know, he's feeling a lot of guilt being that he's involved in what happened and is trying to make up for it by trying to get the passport back in order and the visa. And gosh, he is good at that just one tear falling cry and everything that's going on with his father. Now he's pretty much having to run the business all on his own and also being threatened and trying to resist the future evil father-in-law. I just, uh, he's doing a fantastic job. I kind of do like him a lot and I'm in one of those places where I'm like, why isn't our main lead with him? He's just so wholesome and sweet, and I hope he doesn't die or something terrible protecting her. That would just break my heart. But he is a second lead, and I feel like this being a melodrama, nothing's off the table. <laughs> if they're anything to make you cry and to make things more dramatic, I definitely am enjoying this drama, and I hope you guys are as well. Let me know what you're feeling about the drama in the comments below. Let me know how you're feeling about Gum Serok's character. It seems like she's making all these sacrifices, but they're not really sacrifices. She doesn't seem to really be owning up to what happened. Cause it, you know, even her friend is like, you know, it actually wasn't your fault. It was my dad's. So the moments where she's like all blaming herself, I just wasn't all that emotionally invested in it. That could just be me. Let me know what you're thinking of her character and that storyline down below. And I think that's all I have to say about this drama. There's plenty more episodes to go. I'm curious to see how it ends, especially with how this series began you know, in present day, them finding the body, who was the person at the railroad station, you know, hearing the news, what's happening there, who is that? I'm excited to see how all that progresses and we sort of discover that and what happened. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are too, and I hope you enjoyed this Korean drama reaction to Youth of May. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos are up. I have other social media as well if you'd like to follow me there. And until next time, hope you're staying safe out there and thank you again for staying to hear my goodbyes and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.